college students around the United States are preparing to cast their ballot in the November election, but it isn't clear if they will actually do that. According to the United States Census Bureau, the 18 to 24 age group has consistently been the least likely to vote, with a little less than 50% turning out. However, this year could be different. A Harvard poll in 2017 found that Trump's approval rating among young people was just 32%. Dr. Chris Grant is the chair of the political science department at Mercer University in Macon, Georgia, and he says that things could change this year. The expectation is that youth turnout um, will be high in this election. So historically, 18-year-olds have been the least likely group to vote. Um, That changed some with the Obama campaigns in 2008 and 2012. There seemed to have been a lot more energy amongst younger voters. It's not clear if young people will vote as passionately as they did in the elections where Obama was on the ballot, but if you walk around a college campus, you'll meet some people excited to vote. Kate Lemon is just one of those students. She is a pre-law senior at Mercer, and this will be her first presidential election. And thinking about the November election, thinking about how pivotal it is, um, we're really at a point where it's like a political revolution almost. And so even though my vote is just one vote, it counts and it matters. Lemon plans on voting for Joe Biden. Not very excited about voting for Joe Biden, which a lot of people aren't, but that's who I'm voting for. Election day is November 3rd, and time will tell if young people actually turn out. For the Center for Collaborative Journalism, my name is Mary Helene Hall.